Hey, lovelies and it's great that you're here with a new video with my two hearts of all the best. How are you? Or where should we start? <laughs> You've got us again, Bieber, beautiful. <laughs> he put me in it the day before yesterday or something, dude. Yeah, cool. So you read it in the title, today we're going to be the most intense thing possible on YouTube for me personally, when we start today. Goliath. Yes, it's David against Goliath and we'll be making a self-made kebab, among other things, but also two further epic rounds and quite possibly, but only if we feel like it, maybe just a surprise round, but since that's not entirely clear. You want us to be right. Which I wanted to clarify again in order to put the competition on a bit of a level playing field, as I said last time when we were in private, he'll take you easy, you'll make me the same, you'll make me unpopular right away, dude, that's not true. I have to be honest and say, I'm a bit excited, I'm here against Burn, all. Say it quite easily, Fitner Hall has done everything right again. I'll tell you honestly, it's not going to be easy today. Is it? He's totally into his cooking film at the moment. At the moment he's cooking every day, experimenting, making all sorts of gels and foams. The last time I cooked something was pasta at home the day before yesterday, right? So first round of street food, I'm good at that. First round of street food, second round of pasta and third round of self-made kebab. We're at the good no restaurant lawn in. I'll show the address. So it's really correct that they're putting this here for us. Cool, right next to the swimming pool here and so on. You can go straight down to the nudist beach. So stupid. So let's go. Look B, can you do that? I can go down. Hey Hall, can you do that? Oh, the poor thing is going. Good thing you don't have a lift. I'm already worn out before the duel. You can't carry that, the suitcase, forget it. This is the man who made everything possible here today. Service, greetings, service, hi, service. Oh, the music, like Germans, no idea. What an end. What a view, oh, that's intense. You wouldn't have thought it from that side, hey. You said the outdoor pool is a lake. Yes, guys, what are your first thoughts when you see the kitchen now? I can see a lot going through your head in burn. Catastrophe. Catastrophe. Yes, of course. So, as two windows plus ongoing operations, that will be interesting. You can tick ongoing operations off the list straight away. Dot. No, no, they're stopping right away. Yes, then you'll do it, but it will be disgusting. That will be funny. I'm messing around in eggs again. But with how many people? Look, they have to be able to accommodate 80 people here at the same time. You must have one, but also stuff in the fridge. We've got bags of everything in suitcases. But you can sort yourselves out. All the bags with you. But they're professionals, I think. Do. You know what he said? to me i said bro between courses we need someone to tidy up a bit he says brother burnt he cooks so cleanly he doesn't need anyone i swear to you i'll put everything in drawers here really that's the truth okay let's start there good luck guys good luck see you in round first street food of course i don't know who's cooking what i have no idea yes well i have i don't know anything at all oh thanks that's how it's supposed to be street food is the only motto ah yes i do i hate you <laughs> Ferdy, one hour for a street food dish of your choice. Tell me, what are you doing? I've chosen the classic burger. What's for dinner? I'll make a couple of tacos in a hurry. Chicken taco. That's what I had in mind. But then we have two different products. That's good. Yes, it's great. Free. I hope you have a lot of fun and I have no idea why we're doing this crap again. But I wish you all the best, dear fair. An hour has passed from now. Go. We actually need a bit more music here, right? No, music is bad on YouTube. So friends, I'm going to go have a coffee first. No, just kidding. Aside. I'm in the... I have chicken. Pop finos. Yes, look. Wash your hands first. Important. E. They put my pants away. They're up there. Look. No, 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 no. I've got my own. B. First thing I'm going to do now is I've designed a burger in my head. I'm going to put some onions in so I can quickly make a burger. There's a bit of a sloppy one here. It's so juicy. We're going to marinate them now with a great spice. I'm going to leave the skin on and then we'll crisp them up later and put them in a taco. I've also written down a few things that I actually plan to do so I don't forget and don't get confused because we're under a lot of time pressure. A bit of thyme, which we're also going to add. Not too strong, not too pungent. A couple of mustard seeds. 
It's going to be like Kitchen Impossible. It's going to be disgusting and dirty. How do I make it properly? Burnt? I'm not that professional. Do that one over there. Not too strong. It can just look at the plan in front of it a bit. While you're at it, we need a good amount of onion. Then I have a tacos here, obviously for reasons of time, right? Let's go ahead and put it in. Burnt, is everything okay with you? Oh yes, I've already got a coffee. How's my soup doing? It's cooking in a minute. Yes, yes, dot. Zack, 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 Zack. So, we'll put that to one side. Then we'll carry on peeling here. I made my burger bun, my ban, myself yesterday because I didn't want to buy a ready-made product. So we're going for homemade here, a bit of garlic, a bit of granulated onion, and a bit of pepper. Let's see what the soup does. It's cooking, it's cooking. Let's turn down the heat. So, let it cook for a bit. Normally half the spices would have been enough, but if you don't have much time, you have to over-season it a bit because there's no time for the marinade, right? So, let's bring it to the boil again for a moment. I knew someone was serious today and I knew it wasn't. Me, I'll probably get the chance to box against Burn here once. Boxing like that would have been great too. Yes, that would be cool too. Yes, let's get into a ring so I can see a real boxing match. I'm going to punch you in the face now. What do you think? But let's all agree on how great Hall is, right? He's just sitting outside, he's stressing us out and gets to eat something great today, and it was cooked by both of us, made strong, reason enough for you to definitely subscribe to the channel now, it's free and tastes good, right, you don't know, he's been there since yesterday, and write a nice comment for Ferdy and me and give us the thumbs up, that would be great, Zach, you can really put some butter on it, oh, look over there, Ferd has already put up a few onions, if I knew that Ferd was making onions, I wouldn't have had to make them, right, yes. Ferdy, would you agree if I said that it's not really that interesting for either of us to compete against each other like this, but I think it's much cooler for the viewers. Firstly, that and secondly, it's not about who's the better cook, because you can't do that. Nobody can say that he's the better cook or not. Do you know what I mean? And I would also say that if I were to win today, then I'm glad that nobody expected Bert to let me win today, you know? But do we also agree on how awesome Hall is? He can just sit outside and eat the awesome stuff. Yes. I don't want to say anything against Hall, because we're in his video, but... Whatever, we can insult him, no problem. Hall is the most unplanned person on this planet. <laughs> Am I right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And we're the ones who are always screwed. Greetings to the cut. It's definitely staying in. So, what are you doing? Garlic, brother, garlic. Oh, garlic. Okay, that's very, very fatty minced meat. It's Wagyu, too. That means it's actually perfect for smashing. It smells really, really great, you have to say, right? Very important with homemade mayonnaise, friends. Everything has to be at room temperature. Now go over there and put a bit of our fawn on it. Very good. So, we'll look at the onions. I'm here, I'm here. Yes, great. Now turn the stove up, put the sugar on it, immediately boil. No, we're not doing that. Ferd is making a burger. Yes, it's generally good for making Dutch burgers. We know he likes burgers. I don't know if he likes tacos. Now add a dash of arrow. Many people know this from childhood. That was my childhood beer. I'll put a little bit of it out and add a bit of fruitiness to the whole thing. Does it taste good at all? Ah, I thought the packet looked so cool, but the taste could be better. So, this one is good. Third, do you like coriander? Yes, I love coriander. There, look now, it's already getting a nice color. I can't stand the taste of it either. Sorry. Burnt is so chilled, man, I swear, I need this peace and quiet in the kitchen sometimes. Bo, look, it already looks really juicy and succulent, doesn't it? I'm celebrating. Now we've got a bit of fine jalapeno here. That's my decoration for now. 
I'm looking forward to your tacos, as if you're going to get one, bro. There are some in every kitchen. Look, have you seen? Like a truffle pig. I go purposefully to where it is, because there's only one place for it. Cool, isn't it? Yeah, just holy hell. But I can tell you for sure, I think the burger will blow Hall away for a self-made burger, even made by band. Uh, that looks delicious. It will be delicious. Now we're adding a good boost of these caramelized onions. Nice with caramel malt, it has a light malt aroma. Then we've added the pomegranate, which makes the whole thing a bit sweeter. And onto the burger. So what I can really do is make a burger. This is the ultimate Keller Dam smash burger. It's going to freak out. I have no idea. What's up? Bro, my darling, are you ready? Can I get ready? Yes, I can get ready. Okay, listen up. May I add some coriander? <laughs> that looks awesome, bro. Yours looks awesome. Really awesome. Now, you got to hurry, kids. Ha. Huh? Oh, someone's making a real burger, hey. So, again, to the maximum limit in terms of intensity, wow. Very interesting sweetness in there too. I don't know if it's from the caramelized onions. I think so. It's one of those Oshi. It weighs 80 kg. Cucumbers are in the foreground special. I know exactly who made this. Wow, there's a big piece on here. It's going to be really spicy. I don't even know how it's supposed to be eaten. It all has to stay in. great with the coriander, I thought it would be way too much, but with all this mass and the fat and everything, the spiciness is okay, a really fruity, awesome spiciness from Calapeno. But if I didn't know better, I'd say he even made the bread himself, so, you can really feel the roasting on the outside. This is a heavy thing here. Why does he let us stand two schoolboys at the back here? He's getting into it. Really can't be true. What happened in this world, YouTube, that I'm standing here? Diger and he eats the stuff and I'm standing there like a bedwetter. Do you know what I mean? And I keep thinking, it's delicious. Guys, whoever of you made that back there, yes, it was the two of us. Dot. I hope so. A finely seasoned barbecue sauce. The sweetness fades into the background at the end. We have really mushy ban. It's really soft, really deep in the bite. So a great choice. It certainly won't be. I don't think it's homemade. It's really, really strong. Goes right through and absorbs all the fat. I've never eaten a ban like that before. It was really, really strong and these things are just on point. Freshness comes from the coriander. You have the onions that crack them. This light lime. What really changes the game for me here is that it's so hard and perfectly prepared. The epitome of self-made. Not off the shelf. Just roasted yourself. You see, it's not something you can get anywhere else. Guys, this is really not easy. Someone from Bren Ranch got the bands. What we do here is really a high art.
both are right up there in their own category, I would say. I haven't found any real faults in either of the two dishes, or anything like that. At the beginning, the sweetness of the burger was a bit overwhelming. I'm always a fan of balanced, a little bit everywhere, but that went away after three or four bites. At the beginning, I can't say it was annoying, it was just different, let's say so different, it balanced itself out. In the end, a really balanced thing came around the corner where you could taste everything. So both are really very strong in their category. I gave the burger 8.7 and the tacos, for me that was simply the epitome of perfection. The problem with burgers is that I've eaten so many burgers and as a result I've had to eat even better burgers, simply because I've traveled so far. So I just give the taco 9.5 points. Who did what? You made the burger. <laughs> Boy. Never make burgers. Never. You made the burger. <laughs> I keep surprising myself. Hey, he always surprises me. I never expected that in my life. Do you know why? I thought B was taking it easy. He came here. Last night he put too many in his bag of chips again. He had no energy. Yes, and then he just had to pull something out of his sleeve. It's really easy, but both are powerful. The spell, by the way, I made it myself. Honestly, it was ultra intense. That was one of the best bands of my life. Yesterday's BS. That is ultra intense. Dot. That was really real talk. One of the best bands of my life. All yesterday's bread. Yesterday's bread. Hurt a little, but now it counts, right? Second round. You wanted a lot, now you want even more. The interesting thing is, we both have Asian noodles in our own way. That will be the haul he would immediately think that they are mine. If two Asian dishes come along now, then he'll be completely clueless, believe me. And I'd say stop talking. 45 minutes is the announcement. What are you doing? I'm making you noodles. My own recipe is on my channel. I also have my recipe on by the way. We can say, subscribe to the channel, not just on haul. We are the ones who sweat. No joke. Debo on haul Kim Kitchen and you know what's what. Yes. And I'm having Beyond noodles and I'd say. 45 minutes and off we go. Young noodles. Young noodles. I think I chose the wrong meat for what we want to make. But let's cut ourselves a few slices and then marinate them. There, done that. Then we'll chop up some vegetables. So, we have udon here. I have the best fresh udon you can buy. Thirty-four minutes. If what Keldam has before works out, then he'll shave me really hard against the grain today. He makes homemade noodles, man. That's the top class. I make Beyong Beyong noodles. Dot. They are hand pulled noodles. Maybe I've overexerted myself with this dish. Fair. How's it going? Yes. Time. Time. Often happens with inexperienced battle chefs. Yes. Fair. A good horse only jumps as high as it has to. That's true. Why are you so chilled, man? Yes, because I'm not completely crazy. Should I fry us a little steak in between? I'll... Fry another little steak in between. I'm the one like Mel in Kitchen Possible who tears the kitchen apart. Man, it just has to be. A little steak in between is fine. Yes. Dude, I've really gotten myself into trouble with that. What are you doing? How far are you? I'm waiting for you. Are you serious? Yes. Basically all I need is two or three good noodles and then I'm happy. That looks really cool. Yes, I have to say that. Yes, but it's going to be exciting. You've seen it a few times on my travels in Asia. It didn't look much different now.
I'm excited to see how Hall will judge the whole thing. I always have the urge to try the difficult path in my life and sometimes that's not always clever. Burnt is a professional, he knows exactly what he wants to do and, above all, what he can do in that time. A bit of a feast for the eyes, right? Look. I'm going straight in. Hey, they're coming to me with chopsticks. Hey, come on, guys. R. We standing around here again, right? Yes, M. Chopsticks. Hey, so they're both coming with Asian. That can't be true. That's crazy, isn't it? This is just a question of whether I like it or not. That's how it is. That's how it is. We know by now that I love coriander. Oh man, come here. Hey, how are you supposed to eat it with chopsticks? We slurp our noses. That's right, right? Yes, of course. There's burping too, right? Depends. Where? Yes, there's just power in it. B said she took pure glutamate. I don't think she succeeded. I thought she was joking. The noodles taste almost like they're hand pulled. Here are the ones that they always pull out a bit in restaurants and beat them and so on. Yes, I have to add something to them. So just pure intensity. Beef super tender, on point. Wow, we've got some more of that in here. What kind of sauce is that? Hey, I've had a sauce just like that in an Asian restaurant. It tastes like one of the best, in my opinion, in Hamburg for hand-pulled noodles. Oh, it tastes more like one of those, I always call it candy. Is the original? I would have dissolved it and put it in there. Really sick. Just look at the noodles here. Guys, this thing here is a grab bag, I'll be honest. Flavors, lots of facets, even something slightly licorice like. This bond character through the sauce, because it has lots of facets that are subtle and this one is more of a hearty one. But this sauce here, it's really, hey, I have to ban it, actually the sauce, it should say danger on it. They could all be a series. So, these are two superheroes. So, the hardy one, at Kickers. Would that be the one with the tiger shot and that would be the one with the what else is there? What else is there at Kickers? Haven't you watched Kickers? Subasa. So guys, it's here again. They're not making it easy for me. Yes, good. You didn't bring anyone into your house today either, did you? Yes, that's right. I bit down hard on my fork. I'm so stupid. Ah, how can you be stupid? Who did what? Burnt is pretty sure he did the one on the right. So, pay attention, guys, it looks like this. Oh. I don't know what it looks like, hey. <laughs> We're back. It destroyed me. Hey, they're both really super intense. I would have approved this one right away up until halfway through the meal, but as I ate more and looked at the food more, including the individual components, it kept creeping up on me. For example, I think the meat here is a bit tenderer, a bit better, really better. The pasta is just different, I can't say it's better, but I was more impressed by this one here. This sauce really blew me away, that's just the way it is. Wow, it really knocks me off my feet, it's really, really intense. And I just have to make a gut decision now. I'm giving this a 9.4 and I'm giving this a 9.3 for gut decision. But they're close together. You put it very well. Hey Ferdy, can I try your noodles? Yes, I'd love to. Oh please, please, see there. Ready, ready. <laughs> hey, and what awesome things. Oh, hey. Hand pulled. Hand pulled. Awesome guy, hey, guys, respect, man, what you've conjured up there is no match for the original in the sauce, right? I assume so, whoever has the respect, man, awesome. Really strong, really really strong. Bro, you're a machine, dude. So, I'll get it, I can't do that. Yeah, no, right? But fine, friends. Thanks, hey. We're going into the third round of the self M Donner round and I'm an expert in the field. I have no idea about it. I can do. That now, it's very, very, very exciting. I can only fail. But I have to try it now. And I'm doing it today. I'm going to push the format again. 300 euros voucher in the comments. You can write anything. I want the video to be liked to death. So if you get 15,000 likes you'll get a 300 euros voucher in the comments. Just write anything. Preferably. Something nice. Preferably something nice. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
FY, did you shave me, brother? Don't say that. 0.1 is 0.1 better than mine. This is getting really exciting. H. Yes, now I can only lose really, but for you. Ah, don't say that. I'm excited. You're always up for a surprise. Fine. But without a spinning toy, there's no kebab, I say. So, you know what's going on. There's kebab now in the third round and I'm excited. 16 minutes long. Okay, today, we're exhausted. Is that okay? The idea is that I'll do a classic Berlin kebab style. Yes, and, I, got myself some beef fat for it. I know that's nonsense, but what can I tell you, kids? It's just what we can do now, right? I actually came here with frozen meat. We have roast beef here and before that we had a rib eye. And that's how you get this nice texture when you freeze it. Let's see how it behaves. It's obviously the wrong kind of meat for a kebab, but since I can only fry it for a short time, there's no other way. We'll also make a bit of vegetables and I'll make a bit of cabbage. Salad and stuff like that, but yes, and only on one side, so that it's really crispy on one side. Burnt was a bit clever. He chose filet because he was worried, I suspect, that his meat wouldn't be tender enough. I'm not worried about that in this case. A bit too much seasoning. Good, 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 friends. We're definitely going to make some vegetables now. And now we've got nicely marinated meat. We'll try that. That's already a kebab. There, this is going to be a real kebab shop. So, if you want kebab without onions, you're lost. I'm really angry with you. And now we're going. Then we're going have you seen cat-like reflexes? I think it's a bird here, a spoon. Look away. So, burnt, how's it going? Oh, mine already looks like a kebab shop. Look. Yes, mine too. Good thing I saw the white cabbage at your place. I forgot mine. So, let's go over there with it. Do you see what a great color red cabbage always gives off? I love it. If it comes into contact with a bit of vinegar, it turns a lovely pink. Watch out, watch out, watch out. One of them is already running today. Did you make your E yourself? Of course. Should I believe you? Of course, baby. Now we're going to make a nice egg noodle, because we've got the time and we're going to take it. That's important. Donner kebab without eggs. Bro, that's not possible. But hey, if he's so cheeky, then we'll just make it ourselves. Okay. Now we're going to use special eggs, not this run-of-the-mill, lari-fari stuff. And... Now an insider tip. Put a bit of cream in your eggs. Done. I'm going to pee. Yes, I'm going. He's angry too. I don't get the guy. Why is he so fast? Ken burnt for about a year now. He is one of the most real creators I've had the pleasure of getting to know and with all due respect, I really love him for his way of doing things, and hats off to me. He did this for my noodles, I do this for him, for his humanity. Do you need a trap? Go ahead, do something. Hey, I swear, if anyone else trips me up here, dude, I'll get a slap in the face right away, right? What kind of oil is that? Olive. It all looks like watered down stuff. It looks. Anything but like a kebab, right? Yeah.
Get rid of the butt. Before all else fails. Okay. 1 minute 40. Toe down. 1 minute 30. Hey, where's my spoon, dude? Why are you throwing my spoon away? 1 minute 10. Oh. 20. Oh, bro, times. Ah. Dude, guys, hey, get me down. This sauce looks like my first childhood kebab. Hey, my childhood kebab, not kids, kebab. And it feels like flatbread. Done, sweating again over the kebab now, right? Nice sweet, sour feeling, as if they'd marinated the salad again with some kind of salad dressing, like some kind of vinegar and oil dressing. Interesting feeling. A pleasant warmth, or rather a pleasant sweetness. Yes, I'll definitely make it again because it's so sweet. I'll show you this one again. It looks good too, hey. Nice and crispy on the outside. Someone really dared to do something with this, hey. It felt like an Asian kebab. You can also see the difference between the sauces on top and bottom of the bread. At least it's more noticeable here. They probably do it here too, I think. But somehow it was a bit Asian. I wonder why. There's definitely cucumber in here too. There was no cucumber over there. The cucumber is also playing with fire. Cucumber on a kebab is like tomato on a burger. Both are huge risk factors. It can be really good, but it can also be crap. One thing is clear, with the meat alone, of course, you won't get the same result as with a skewer, it's impossible. That's why you obviously can't judge it like that and somehow have to compensate for the handicap you give the chefs, who both have anyway. The right one. What do you think this is? You have to compensate for the middle finger in your assessment somehow. But the feeling that the chefs create around it is a different matter and you could of course create a result, similar to the kebab with the sauces and salads, but they both chose the path of creating a very special life of its own in the kebab. It tastes completely different somehow. Interestingly different, not bad different. It's completely wild at the bottom, really juicy and sweet at the bottom. Just a little bit like I said, as if you had just put the meat on point in a pan in a nice marinade that fits. The kebab is swirled. Stand there, man. Yes, let's let him eat. Let's see what happens. He has a kebab. Thanks. I'm struggling because I'm dead tired. I have to say, I never want to go to a restaurant and normally eat like that. Now I have to because we have a contest. But you haven't learned anything from round to round with your cutlery and your serving. That has to be said too. Well, I was expecting you to stick a steak knife in your eye when you cut your mouth, to be honest. I say Ferdig did that one. And I say Burnt did that one. Sit down, guys. I'll do the judging. So the egg reminds me of my favorite egg. Either someone watches my videos or it was there. The one with a bit of lime, but also very, very tasty. So two honors who are looking for their equals. Oh man, are you ready? I feel like I've really been outdone. Yes, have I outdone you? Don't. You think so? He didn't go into it much with his thing. Says something about acids and Asian. Says something about childhood, meat, roasting, nothing. White stuff like that. You usually hear about him. Dude, I can also tell you why it's good that you say that. I also have a thing that meant I couldn't really go into it. Here the acidity was simply too much. It took over the whole flavor, so I couldn't really get into what the meat was like or what was like about this one. It was just a nice piece of meat, tender meat underneath, a nice marinade, a slight sweetness, as if it was really that kind of meat, it was nicely seasoned. I'll say seared in a marinade, let's call it that. I don't want to keep you in suspense for long. I would have given mine a 7.5. As I said, it was a bit oversteered, just from the column, I couldn't really get into it. The bread was actually better in this one too. Here I would have given it an 8.5.
How do we do that now? I turn around and then the person who made it stands up and it should then stand. Okay. Oh, that's yours. Dot. Oh no, boy. I have to say one thing. What I learned from Burnt in the kitchen today was worth a lot more than this challenge, because I said there can be no winner here, who cooks better or anything else, because today was the first time I saw this difference in level. Do you know what I mean? From a professional chef who has been doing it for 30 years, like we discussed, who works like a dream in the kitchen, chills out, takes a, in between and I run back and forth sweating. Okay. I might have had a long way to the stove, but brother, you're a machine and you have I've learned a lot from you, brother. In that sense, I'll put it this way, not that you have to do it, say, if you want to see it, the two of them will definitely be there and will have another rematch on a more demanding level, not just fast food maybe, but a bit more demanding with a magic box in the middle or something like that would be very welcome. Why not? Not tonight. I'm fed up with it anymore. I don't <laughs> feel well. Apart from that, and you have to be honest, that's the restaurateur's point of view, right? Come over here for a minute, my friend. Come here. He's had us all day. Yes. Come here. Come here. He just left his shop to us for the whole day. Yes, we've been here since 10 a.m. now, it's 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. I don't know, 5.30 p.m. He just sent all the guests away, friends, and handed over his kitchen to us. Ferdy has reduced everything to dust. <laughs> There's already a video from the shop here, because I'm staying here for a while, because I saw his head chef, a really cool guy. He's a cool guy, the philosophy behind the shop. We're doing a restaurant review now. You can see it on my channel. Get a link to it here. Let's do it right away. Come out right away. No, it's coming to me on Wednesday. Come. Wednesday is already out. It's already out. Cool. Just a restaurant. They do cool. Here. Check out the two guys in the video description. Be sure to check out the content. Fairy is also new on YouTube. He'll get a foothold. You can see he can do something. If you're interested in how the two of them do their work, you've come to the right place. Yes. And can we do the shotgun together? All of us together. <laughs> <laughs>